Welcome back to Project 10 to the 4th. We're here on the University of Colorado's Boulder campus with the Robert Frost statue right in front of us. Behind us is Old Main, the oldest building on campus and the administrative building. There goes the dean. Um, so, I have with me Victoria Olin. Victoria was one of the instructional designers who helped build the MOOC. Her special task was making peer review work smoothly. So when students, such as yourself, write an essay, it goes into a peer review system and is effectively graded. Victoria, tell us a little bit about that peer review system. Well, I can tell that peer assessments work surprisingly well in the first iteration of the MOOC. But I think they will work even better in the second one, and here's why. We did receive some constructive feedback from the students in the last MOOC, and we listened to that feedback, and it prompted us to do a research project to actually find out how well peer assessment worked. And as, as a result of that research project, we came up with a number of improvements for the peer assessment project, and I hope that all the students that will take the MOOC uh, this time will benefit from the peer assessments. Great, great. I think it works great, and I'm very excited about it. So today, our comic is The Brave Owlet by Maria Radicanu. What did you think of The Brave Owlet? Well, I think it's a German comic and a beautiful piece of art. I was most impressed by uh, very expressive faces of the owls uh, that grab you from the very first page and very cute rhyme that surprises you on the second page of the comic. Um, I think this comic would make an adorable children's book. I agree. I think Robert Frost would blush. So, what I liked about the Brave Outlet is that it's it's a comic about storytelling. It's got this kind of twisting inward quality that that it's talking about what it means to tell stories and and what it means to tell stories in the Brave Outlet is also about self-discovery. So enjoy the Brave Outlet. It's a nice piece. Onwards. Onwards. <laughs>